we use uh, something called a Q score, uh, which is quite extensive uh, scoring system, which incorporates a lot of things like you know their uh, <clears throat> family history, uh, cholesterol levels, diabetes, all the risk factors, and gives us a scoring. So for example, if you have a Q score of something like a 30, uh, 35 percent, which essentially means that in the next 10 years, the person is at a risk of having a cardiac event or a stroke is around 35%. So the scoring system is quite good because you can then uh, uh, you know, categorize patients to sort of high risk or a low risk category and then treat accordingly. So if we do identify patients who are high risk, so we focus uh, quite aggressively on uh, controlling their risk factors. Uh, like, for example, smoking, giving them aggressive, uh, treating them blood pressure and giving them a lot of advice on, uh, on how to lead a healthy lifestyle. Um, <clears throat> so that's how we deal with the patients who are high risk. And this Q risk uh, scale is, uh, is, uh, is only uh, specific to UK or many other countries around the world are implementing the similar uh, scale that you just mentioned? Yeah, I mean, look, you know, Q risk is an online scoring system. You can access anywhere you want and uh, it's validated nicely. So it's not just, uh, you know, subjected or uh, validated to just a UK population. It's, it's a, it can be used globally. Uh, it's a good scoring system, which we use mainly used by general practitioners uh, in the UK, although we too uh, use them because by the time we see patients, they already have established heart disease or a suspected heart disease. So mainly the general practitioners see these kind of patients and they use a QRISC uh, uh, scoring system.